Um, shoot, you got to prepare like everybody else, you know, um, having to adapt and understanding, you know, what we're up against right now. But, you know, our guys going to be ready to play. And so our biggest thing is just um, getting back our defensive mindset, you know, starting games and um, be able to, you know, have a defensive mindset of physicality at all five positions. And um, that's where it all starts for us. And when you're shorthanded, um, the biggest thing is, you know, getting stops and getting out and running in transition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we'll see. Um, I know he's a vet, you know, tough guy, plays tough, plays hard, and competes. And so um, he'll come to our team and fit right in in that capacity. And so just having a veteran like that around who's been around can help our young guys out. Um, we thought it'd be a great signing for us. Um, going to give give Xavier more minutes. I think at the backup point and just having a traditional point guard on the floor, I think will help that second unit out. Talk about um, you know, give me three or four games and I can get a rotation down. You, you don't have any right now to give you three or four games. So how, how, in terms of just shifting on the fly, how good have you had to be about that? Um, you know, we just got to do what we have to do. And I think um, just having to um, stagger, I think, Luke and Marcus more. Um, the two of our um, biggest offensive threats, I think. So having to stagger them a little bit more and not um, having, you know, five young guys or five new guys on the floor at the same time, I'm um, trying to stay away from that as best as we can. So just seeing that for the last couple of games and I'm um, just trying to stagger Luke and, and Marcus more so we can have that, you know, um, big time offensive threat on the floor, I think will help us out. When Marcus <clears throat> going, what sort of impact does that have on what you're doing on the floor? Oh, it's huge for us. I mean, he kept us in the game as long as he could the other night. And um, we're having 24 points in 27 minutes, you know, just shooting the ball the way he did. And I thought in that first half he got a little tired. You know, I think I, I played him too many minutes in that first half. But um, when he's scoring the basketball, you know, we are a totally different team. But usually when PG and, and Reggie and Kawhi's on the floor, you know, we're, we're a different team. But we're going to need a scoring. We're going to need a leadership. And like I said, we're going to make some mistakes with our young guys. But the biggest thing is staying patient with those guys and um, those guys understanding and learning from their mistakes as well. Who we start last game? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, some things we want to do different, but we're not going to really discuss it. Um, we'll see if we can do it tonight. Um, because we have had a chance having practice time and not having not getting a chance to do shoot around today, um, was tough on us. So, but we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, um, it's tough. It's it's a tough position to be in, but you know we just keep it as simple as possible for them. You know, every team wants delay. Every team runs high pick and roll. So. Just try to keep it simple for him if we get him on the floor and um, just kind of go from there. Miriam on Zoom. Hey, Ty. Um, Hello. Hey. Um, so I wanted to ask, like, a shoot around, do you guys call that off just out of, like, uh, for safety's sake or? Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they did. I, like I needed it. Yeah, I needed it, but that's okay. All right. And then I wanted to ask, so what's the deal with Reggie? Do you, he, you guys expect that he'll be back with you guys at some point? Yeah, um, he's out of protocol. Um, not going to play tonight. We're going to, you know, he's going to work out tonight. And tomorrow, I'll just kind of see where his condition is, you know, heading into Toronto. Has he been able to do much, sort of like Marcus was able to, or this is this will be the first time he gets back to basketball? Well, it's the first time he's doing basketball stuff, but he's able to do his Zoom workouts and things like that. But tonight would be the first time I think he's going to be able to do basketball. Um, basketball stuff. All right. Well, welcome back to him. Thank you, Ty. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Sorry, you were asked about this already, but uh, Marcus Morris, is it? 
kind of a luxury to have a guy like that and have him back and someone who can kind of pick up some of the scoring load. Yes, it's been great. You know, um, just scoring the last couple of games has kept us in the game, you know, for as long as he could. And um, when he's shooting a basketball like that, you know, we're a totally different team. When he's scoring the basketball, we're a totally different team. So, um, you know, with PG and Marcus, I mean, with PG and, and Reggie and Nico and those guys out, um, more so than his scoring, we just need his leadership. And he's been doing it all year, even when he was not able to play. So just having him and his leadership, teaching the young guys, talking to the young guys is going to be very important for our team. Yeah, he got a cap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a couple. Yeah.